from 4AG New Zealand and Lotus 7 New Zealand Facebook groups. We're dealing with a 4AG blacktop Toyota 20 valve, right? This device here, it's not connected to the motor, it's just sitting here floating. It's called the IAC, right? Which is the idle um, air control valve. Works like this. In a fuel injected motor, you don't set the idle by opening the throttles like this and leaving them open. You get side effects from that. What you do in a fuel injected motor is you bypass air past the throttle body. So if we put air in this pipe here, pull it off, it'll rev real high at idle. Coming down here, it gets to the IAC. The IAC gets air from this hose sitting open, which belongs on the on the plenum right on the air filter plenum now here's how it works the IAC has inside of it a valve that turns clockwise to make the idle come down when it's hot and anti-clockwise to increase the idle when the engine is in a cold start mode and you don't want it to stall at the first set of traffic lights works like this See this bimetallic spring? If I put it here like this, I want you to notice right now it's facing north-south, right? The spring, the tongue on the spring, north-south. Here's me flame. If I run it up and down on my spring, watch my spring. My spring is turning anti-clockwise. Now if the spring starts to turn anti-clockwise, it's no different than grabbing this valve like this and turning it anti-clockwise. Now for the sake of learning, watch this. Anti-clockwise, revs up, Clockwise, down to 800 RPM, just where we wanted it idle. I want you to notice one other thing in the illustration here. On the side of the IAC is an Allen key. This is the base idle before, uh, when the bimetallic spring is real hot and brings it back hard. This Allen key here, you can rise your idle and you can fall your idle. If you go too far, it'll come off its stop and it'll turn sort of inside out like that. So you bring it to, it's, it doesn't do that, you can feel it about there. And then you'll need to lock that up with some silicon or some glue, right? Now, for illustration purposes, I'm going to go boil a jug, bring it back and pour it on top of the bimetallic spring. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. To understand a little bit more, here's me hot, steamy jug, right? Just boiled on the coal range. On the side of the cylinder head, you've got a, a big blank of aluminium. Now, I can't put my hand on that. It's hot. That touches the surface area of the valve here. All the back of that valve is transmitting heat from the surface area of the head. Now, these little screws go in here and they lock the adjustment of the idle ear. Now, if I push it back like that, it's out of calibration. It's probably going to be in calibration about there. Now, if I take my hot jug and I start pouring hot water, all over my valve, the bimetallic spring is going to start to turn clockwise. I just dropped from 1700 RPM to 1200, trying to get my heat right on my bimetallic spring, dropped to 1000.
valve real hot. 900. All right, getting the point. So then in service, the bimetallic spring turns the valve and drops the idle speed. Now if I take this out, you'll see me bimetallic spring has turned clockwise, right? Bringing it back. Well, I hope that's helped you understand the IAC and a lot of idling problems on 4AGE Toyota engines. So uh, Rex here again from uh, 4AGE New Zealand and Lotus 7 New Zealand. Hope you enjoyed this.